Welcome to Mana TV Telangana. In the last episode, we have discussed, discussed some problems on logarithms. So, in this episode, we are going to discuss some more problems to get more clarity on logarithm chopped. So, let us start some more problems regarding logarithms 2. In that first problem, if x equals to e power y minus e power minus y over e power y plus e power minus y, then y equals to a 2 log of x plus 1 by x minus 1 to the base e b 2 log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x to the base e option c 1 over 2 log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x to the base e. Now, option d 1 over 2 log of x plus 1 by x minus 1. Okay. So, let us discuss how to solve this problem. So, now, if you just observe this problem, y should be expressed in terms of x or y should be expressed log of as a x function. So, that means, here we have to apply, we have to apply componendo dividendo. This x is equal to e power y minus e power minus y over e power y plus e power minus y. Let us write reciprocal. So, reciprocal means you can write like this 1 by x equals to e power y plus e power minus y by e power y minus e power minus y. Okay? This is the reciprocal. Now, apply componendo and dividendo rule. Let me explain what is an componendo and dividendo. So, that means here 1 plus x by 1 minus x that means numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator. Numerator plus denominator this this gets cancelled e power y e power y. 2 e power y upon numerator minus denominator. So, e power y plus e power minus y minus e power y plus e power minus y. e power y e power y cancel. Here we get 2 e power minus y. It is very clear from this 2 2 gets cancel using exponent theory of indices. So, this can be written as a power m by a power n, a power m minus n. So, this can be written e power y plus y, e power 2 y is equal to 1 plus x by 1 minus x. Now, 2 y equals to log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x. Am I correct? Now, this exponential form is converted as logarithmic form. So, here base e. Now, we have to find out y value. See, that implies y is equal to half times log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x. 
to the base E. Now, which is the right option among this one? Yes. So, just if you observe, now C will be the right option because this is 2 times because, because of times you may get confusion between these 2. So, the C will be the right option. Let us move to the next question. Second problem, if 0 less than theta, theta less than pi by 4, then log of tan of pi by 4 plus theta to the base E plus log of okay, log of tan of pi by 4 minus theta to the base E equals to here A 0 b 1 c minus 1 d tan 2 theta. So, now out of 4 options we have to choose, choose one of the options. So, that means just if you observe this problem this is log a plus log b form. So, that can be put as a single logarithm. So, that is log of a b you can write it. So, that is equal to, so this can be written log of tan of pi by 4 plus theta multiplied tan of pi by 4 minus theta here base e. Okay. Now, we shall have one doubt in our mind. What is the value of tan pi by 4 plus theta into tan of pi by 4 minus theta? That is very, very important problem from trigonometry also in compound angles. Generally, we discuss this problem in compound angles. So, this value is equal to, let me explain, the tan 45 degrees plus theta is tan pi by 4 plus theta equals to 1 plus tan theta by 1 minus tan theta. So, better to remember this is a formula from trigonometry. Tan of pi by 4 minus theta 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta. Okay. Having been multiplied these two you can expect the answer. These two are the reciprocals each other. That means, if you multiply these two, we get 1. See, 1 plus tan theta, 1 plus tan theta, 1 minus tan theta, 1 minus tan theta. So, this becomes 1 log 1 to the base E. Now, you can expect the answer. Here, answer is 0. So, a is the right option. Okay. Shall we move to the third problem? Yes, third one log 2 base 10 lies between okay, log 2 base 10 lies between a 1 by 4 and 1 by 3 b 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 c 
1 by 5 and 1 by 6 d 0 and 1 by 3 ok. So, this is very very important problem generally the same problem may be asked in the examination. So, log 2 base 10 is a options may be like this natural number, whole number, integer, irrational number this is quite obvious log 2 base 10 becomes irrational number irrational it becomes irrational number that question may ask in the examination. But when you come across this problem actually where does log 2 base 10 lie that we have to find out. So, that means here first so where does 10 lie so let us verify suppose you write down like this 10 lies between 4 and uh, 4 less than 10 less than we can write 2 square is 4 2 cube is 8 2 power 4 is 16 16 we can write am I correct. So, that means this is 2 power 4 less than 10 less than 2 power 5. Now, this also we can write like this no problem this is 2 cube this 2 power 4 2 power 4 after 2 power 5 right. Now, apply log for the base 2 2 power 4 base 2 less than log 10 base 2 less than log 2 power 5 to the base 10 sorry base 2. Now, what does it become you see this is 4 less than log 10 base 2 less than 5. Let us write the reciprocals 1 by 4 greater than reciprocal of this one becomes log 2 base 10 greater than 1 by 5. So, 1 by 5 less than log 2 base 10 less than 1 by 4. So, options we have to change here this will be 4. So, C will be the right option C will be the right option. Okay, let us move to the next question. Now, fourth one if log a by b minus c is equal to log b by c minus a log c by a minus b, then a to the power of a into b to the power of b c to the power of c equals to here a 1 b 2 c a b c d a plus b plus c plus 2 ok. Let us observe this question here given log a by b minus c equals to log b by c minus a equals to log c by a minus b. Then we have to find out a to the power of a, b to the power of b, c to the power of c. So, that means, so this problem let us find out the value of a in terms of b minus c. So, let us find out the value of b in terms of c minus a similarly c in terms of a minus b substituting here we get the answer. So, that means log a upon b minus c equals to log b upon 
c minus a log c upon a minus b equals to say k this is assumption let us assume. So, if you multi cross multiply log a is equal to k into b minus c. So, a becomes their base is e, e power k into b minus c. In the similar manner b becomes e power k into c minus a. So, c becomes e power k into a minus b. Now, what shall we do? Here in the place of this base a substitute this value, in the place of b substitute this value, in the place of c substitute this value. So, let us substitute respective values of a, b, c. So, substituting respective values a power a, b power b, c power c. Here base is replaced by e power k times b minus c whole to the power of a. Okay. Now, e to the power of k multiplied by c minus a whole to the power of here b, c is replaced by e to the power of k into a minus b whole to the power of c. Since bases are equal, now exponents are added, k is common in all cases. So, e to the power of k common we get like this, a into b minus c plus b into c minus a plus c into a minus b. Just if you observe, they are cyclic order. This can be written shortly sigma a into b minus c. If you expand, you get this value is equal to 0, k into 0, 0. So, this becomes e power 0. What is something to the power of 0? e to the power of 0 is how much? 1. So, now can you expect the answer? Yes. 1 is the right option. So, A is the right option. Next one. If log 87.5 to the base 10 is equal to 1.94 to 1, then the number of number of digits digits in the expansion expansion of 875 875 raised to 10 is a 90 b 20 c 29 d 30. Okay. Because so far we have done all the familiar problems, now this seems to be rather somewhat uh, different problem from wh what we have discussed earlier. So, that let us concentrate more on this problem, because it is the application of the logarithms. So, how do we apply the logarithms? In general, we shall have a discussion while doing this problem. So, okay. so, let us do this problem. Log of 87.5 to the base 10 is equal to 1.9421. Here, one is called integral part, whereas 0 0.9421 is called that is the decimal part. 
one is called characteristic whereas 0.9421 is called mantissa mantissa is always positive you remember one thing in your mind okay mantissa is always positive here since it has two digits in this number its characteristic is one okay now that means in order to find out number of digits the characteristic plays vital role so that means if you are able to find out characteristic of this number easily we can find out the number of digits okay since characteristic is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 digits in the similar pattern we can find out so now take this number say x apply logarithm on both sides to the base 10 log x to the base 10 is equal to this becomes 10 into log 875 to the base 10 can I write like this yes now since it has three digits its characteristic is 2 so 10 multiplied by 2.875 here also 875 they are called significant figures since these two numbers have significant same significant figures the mantissa will not change so that is why as it is mantissa remains that is 24 sorry 9421 just multiply what do you get this becomes 29421 here what is the characteristic 29 so number of digits is equal to characteristic plus 1 that means 29 plus 1 30 now what is the right answer yes so 30 is the right answer Let us move to the next problem. If x greater than 1, comma, y greater than 1, z greater than 1, or in GP, okay, then 1 by 1 plus log x to the base e comma 1 by 1 plus log y to the base e 1 by 1 plus log n log z to the base e or in ok a a p b g p c h p d a g p ok because this problem is actually connection between logarithms to the progression chapter so that's why you see x y z are in geometric progression so if x y z are in geometric progression so we have one concept in progressions their logarithms are in arithmetic progression itself only so that means if you apply the logarithms to these three numbers they will be in arithmetic progression so let us write now here since x y z are in geometric progression 
apply logarithms to the base e log x to the base e log y to the base e base e log z to the base e or in a p and one more property we study in arithmetic progression if you add the same constant term to the each of term the progression or will not change that is also same in arithmetic progression only adding one to the each term so we get 1 plus ln x 1 plus ln y 1 plus ln z are also in a p that means the same constant term is being added now let us write reciprocals reciprocals means therefore 1 by 1 plus ln x 1 by 1 plus ln y 1 by 1 plus ln z reciprocals of a p becomes harmonic progression so that is why or in h p so now a b c d observe which is the right option yes you are correct c will be the right option Next problem log of tan 1 to the base 10 plus log of tan 2 to the base 10 plus so on log tan 89 to the base 10 equals to here a 0 b 1 c 2 d 3. So, this is also one of the application problems. Now, logarithms are connected to the trigonometry. So, let us have a the brief discussion on this problem also before going to solve this problem this is very easy problem also do not worry so now here we have one concept in trigonometry that is a basic trigonometric functions tan a into tan b is equal to 1 provided a plus b is equal to 90 degrees so that concept is enough to crack this problem so first of all by using properties of the logarithms this can be written as a single logarithm first let us write it so this can be written as log of tan 1 degree multiplied by tan 2 degrees so in between we have tan 45 also and tan 88 after that we have tan 89 do not worry I already told you one formula. What is the formula? I have given hint tan A into tan B is equal to 1 if A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. So, if A plus B is equal to 90 degrees, you remember this formula. Now, check 89 plus 1 is 90, 88 plus 2 is 90. So, this into this, this into this, tan 45 will be 1. So, now what do you get? Log of 1 into dash dash 1 into dash dash. Here base 10, we get log 1 to the base 10, we know 0. So, A will be the right option.
Okay, let us discuss one more connection problem. A is equal to root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 and B equals to root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1, then log of A B equals to a 0, b 1, c 2, d 3. Okay. So, how to solve this problem? Here we have to find out log of a b. So, first let us find out a into b. So, a b is equal to root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 multiplied by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1. Am I correct? So, this this will be gets cancelled, we get 1 this also. So, a b is equal to 1. What we have to find out? Log a b. So, log 1 what is the logarithm of 1? Yes, 0. So, option is A. Next problem, if x square plus y square is equal to z square, then 1 by log x base z plus y plus 1 by log x base z minus y equals to now a 0 b 1 c 2 d 3. See this one also application problem only. Here x square plus y square is equal to z square means that is Pythagorean triplets, x, y, z are Pythagorean triplets. So, right angle triangle may be given and you are asked to find out this one also. No problem, we can solve it. So, first let us solve this one. 1 by log x base z plus y can be written as log of z plus y to the base x. Am I correct? plus this can be written log of z minus y to the base x. So, let us write as a single logarithm. So, this is equal to log of z plus y multiplied by z minus y to the base x. Do you expect what is the value of this one? Yes as it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square form. So, this can be written log of z square minus y square to the base x. This condition is given with the help of this condition you see since x square plus y square is equal to z square what is the value of x square. So, x square is equal to z square minus y square. Now, it is replaced by x square. So, log x square to the base x, this is equal to 2 into log x base x, this is 2 into 1, so answer is 2. So, which is the right option? Yes, 
C will be the right option. Next problem. If log of m minus n equals to log m minus log n, then the value of n sorry m in terms of n is k. Here a n by n minus 1, b n square by n minus 1, c n square by n square minus 1 d n by n minus 1. Okay. In general, log of m minus n is not at all equal to the log m minus log n. Log m minus log n is equal to log m by n we know, but the problem is given that here, if suppose log of m minus n is equal to log m minus log n we have to express the value of m in terms of n. Okay, let us try. Now, this log of m minus n equals to this log m minus log n, we can write log of m by n. Now, whenever log x is equal to log y, x is equal to y. Okay. So, we can write m minus n is equal to m by n. So, here we shall frame a question. What we have to find out? m in terms of n. So, m value we have to find out in terms of n, absolutely in terms of n. Cross multiplication. Now, m is equal to m n minus n square. You do one thing, bring n square this side, m that side. Now, we can write n square is equal to m n minus m. Okay? Now, take this m as a common, m into n minus 1. Now, find m value. What is m? n square by n minus 1. Now, which is the right option? Yes, n square by n minus 1. Yes, this is the correct option. B is the right option. If log 3 to the base 30 equals to a, log 5 to the base 30 equals to b, then log 8 to the base 30 is equal to a. 3 times 1 minus a minus b, b 3 times 1 plus a plus b, c 3 by 1 minus a minus b, d, d option 3 by 1 plus a plus b. Okay. Just read the problem carefully. 
log 3 to the base 30 is A, log 5 to the base 30 is B, then we have to find out log 8 to the base 30 in terms of A and B. So, that is the question here, that is the question. So, now this log 8 to the base 30. So, that means if we are able to write 8 as in terms of 3 and 5 that will be expressed in terms of A and B only that is our aim. So, first let us write 8 as 2 cube log 2 cube to the base 30. Now, 3 times log 2 base 30. Just imagine this 30, 2 we have to write in terms of 30 and something. So, we know that 30 sorry 2 is equal to 30 by 15, am I correct? 15 2 to 30. So, now this can be written 3 times log of 30 divided by this 15 can be written 5 into 3 to the base 30. Now, just simplify it this one we have to expand that lag at them. So, this can be expanded 3 into log 30 base 30 minus log 5 base 30 minus log 3 base 30. Okay. Now, log 30 base 30 is how much? So, that is 1 only. So, 3 times 1 minus, so this is equal to how much A, B, this will be A. So, we get 1 minus A minus B. So, which is the right option of all the given options? Yes, A will be the right option. So, next one log of root 2 root 2 root 2 root 2 to the base 2 root 2 equals to a 5 by 8 b 3 by 8, C 1 by 3, D 7 by 8. Okay. So, in order to solve this problem, we require some concept need to be discussed at this juncture. So, let us have a discussion first. See, we have one formula see that formula you can remember as a hint t also no problem root of a root of a root of a dash dash n times is there not infinity if it is given as instead of n times infinity times answer will be a so you remember that problem also so here this can be written as like this a to the power of 1 by 2 into a to the power of 1 by 4 a to the power of 1 by 8 dash dash n times. Now, what shall we do? So, now here a to the power of add all the powers 1 by 2, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 dash dash n times. Now, we are doing formulation. Here, it is very easy to observe that this pattern is in geometric progression. Since it is geometric progression, sum to n terms we have to find out. Here, a is equal to 1 by 2. Let us find out common ratio in geometric progression. In general, we find common ratio. R is equal to a 2 by a 1 
1 by 4 by 1 by 2, this is 1 by 2 only. Now, S n formula that means A into 1 minus R to the power of n by 1 minus R. So, A is 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 2 power n, 1 minus half is half only, half half gets cancelled. So, that means 1 minus 1 by 2 power n. So, this becomes a to the power of 1 minus 1 by 2 power n. Okay? So, now we can remember this one as a formula. Using this formula, this directly we can write this value 1, 2, 3, 4. So, n is replaced by 4. So, we get log of this is 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 by 2 power 4 root 2, 2 root 2 that is 2 to the power of 3 by 2. Now, this is equal to log 2 to the power of here 16, 1 by 16 means 15 by 16 to the base 2 to the power of 3 by 2. How to solve this problem? Log a to the power of alpha b to the power of beta, alpha by beta. So, 15 by 16 multiplied by 2 by 3 log 2 base 2 is 1. So, this is 3 phi ja here 2 8 ja. So, what will be the answer? Phi by 8. Yes, is there any phi by 8? Could you find that value? So, now a is the right option. Okay. One more problem let us discuss. Log of x minus y by phi is equal to half times log x plus log y. Okay. Then x by y plus y by x is equal to here a 25, b 23, c 21, d 27. Okay. How do you solve this problem? Okay. Now, so in order to solve this problem, actually we require, we require very lengthy method. So, that means very tedious method. So, in order to avoid that, that one, actually we can generate a, a formula or generalization we can have the generalization. So, let us have a generalization regarding to the this problem. Okay, now, you remember that generalization log of x minus y by n is equal to half times log x plus log y. Okay. Then, this x by y plus y by x is equal to, here we get that is n square plus 2. Here what is n value here? Here n value is phi. So, therefore, x by y plus y by x equals to phi square plus 2. 
that is 25 plus 2. So, 27. So, what is the right option here? Yes, D will be the right option. Half of log of five plus two root six equals to log of root x plus root y. This is base ten, this is base ten, and x greater than y, x greater than y. then x minus y equals to a 5 b 6 c 1 d 2. Okay. For example, this type of question is given. So, we have to do here this off means we have to apply the power rule here. So, first this can be written log of root 5 plus 2 root 6 to the base 10 okay, equals to log of root x plus root y to the base 10. Now, we have one formula in log terms log x to the base a is equal to log y to the base a. Okay, let us have a discussion on this one, it is very very important, because since actually many of the problems we have used this concept also. Since bases are equal, this must be equal. So, we can write x is equal to y in the similar manner. Now, this is equated to, so this one. So, root x plus root y is equal to square root of 5 plus 2 root 6. Here once again, we shall have a one question in our mind. How to find out square root of 5 plus 2 root 6? And moreover, one condition is given in the problem that is x greater than y. So, this can be written as, this must be written as 3 plus 2 2 root of 3 into 2. Now, it seems to be rather a plus b plus 2 root a b. See, this a plus b plus 2 root a b equals to root a plus root b whole square. If you just square it, what do you get? Just observe a plus b plus 2 root a b. So, this can be written as root 3 plus root 2 whole square. So, we get root 3 plus root 2. Now, comparing on both sides, we get root x is equal to root 3 and root y is equal to root 2 squaring on both sides x is equal to 3, here y is equal to 2. We have to find out x minus y. What is x minus y? Here x minus y is equal to 3 minus 2, so we get 1. What is the right answer? Yes, c is the right option. So far, we have discussed problems on logarithms and also we have covered different problems. But if you want more, you have to practice the more problems from the different material which is available to you. So, the best way of the cracking 
any competitive entrance examination is. So, we have to do more practice on the problems. So, thank you one and all, thank you.